Hello everyone, in this video we are going to use uh, or learn about the if-else construct of um, the C programming language and we are going to learn it by the traditional uh, min-max uh, value finding the min-max value among two values so the idea is the user provides two values x and y or value 1 value 2 and we write something which says which value is the maximum among the two values I hope you understand the problem statement so the idea is um, we can say print f um, quotation value 1 with a space close statement then we say value 2 and then we get the value from the user we save it as a value 1 val 1 is equal to get int and then uh, we do value 2 and then we say we want to print which one is the maximum so we say if x sorry val 1 is greater than val 2 print f is bigger than integer is bigger than integer and since the first value is so since in this case value 1 is bigger than v2 we say value 1 is bigger than value 2 so the idea is if value 1 is bigger than value 2 in that case print this else we have to say that since this is not the case it can mean two things uh, i is either equal to or um, bigger than i1 so here it's v2 and then we say v1 so the idea is if value of 1 is greater than v2 in that case value 1 is certainly big, bigger than value 2 else it could mean that value 1 is equal to value 2 or value 1 is less than uh, value 2 which is value 2 is bigger than value 1 so let's run this control r and we say the first value is 3 the second value is 2 so 3 is certainly bigger than 2 and if you run this it will return this 3 is bigger than 2 we forgot the end statement end line command here end line then run it again we say value 5 and then say value 2 so 5 is certainly bigger than 2 so 5 is saved as well 1 2 is saved as well 2 and 5 is certainly bigger than val2 so it will say 5 is bigger than val2 so we do enter 5 is bigger than val2 and now let's do control r we say 2 and then we say 2 in that case val1 is 2 val2 is 2 this is certainly not the case because they are equal so if this is not the case whatever is remain is else so if this doesn't work else certainly this is the case so 2 is can be either equal to or bigger than 2 let's run this so 2 is either equal to or bigger than 2 uh, we could run the third case which is we do control r and we say that um, 3 and we give 5 here so the result will be um, 3 is val 1 5 is val 2 and since this is not the case so if this is the case it would print this since this is not the case only thing remain is the else clause which says i which is val 2 5 is equal to or bigger than val 1 which is 3 so 5 is either equal to or bigger than 3 um, 
So just to summarize, the idea is in the if-else construct or the if-else clause of the C programming language, if a certain condition here, this is the condition val1 is greater than val2, then do this. If this condition is not true in that case, else do something different, which is this. I hope you understand.